It's crucial to set up your graphics tablet correctly if you're going to sculpt with ease in ZBrush. If you're having trouble with your sculpting, it's more than likely down to your tablet being set up incorrectly. To check this, just go into Photoshop, put a coin down on your graphics tablet and trace around it. And you should hopefully get this shape here. If you're not, if you're getting this shape, there's something we can do to fix it. And if you're getting this, you're in the worst case scenario. You probably have a dual monitor setup. So to check your settings, just press Control Escape and type in Wacom. That should hopefully bring up the Wacom tablet properties. Um, if you have a different tablet, it'll be named differently. From here, you can go into the mapping. All tablets will have this. And if your monitor is set to, or if your settings are set to full, you'll see that the area on the, on the graphics tablet is set to cover both monitors. So I can now move my mouse from one monitor to another, which is fine for ease of use, but doesn't actually help me here because if I draw a circle here, it's going to look elliptical when it, it goes out here. So basically you can see that the length and width ratio do not match. This is twice as long, so therefore a perfect circle. I'm actually drawing one now in the air and it's giving me an ellipse. So to fix this, we definitely have to resort to just one monitor. Um, so do commit to one monitor. If you do, you'll see that this ratio now is a lot closer to this. So that's why you're gonna get a shape that looks something like this. Now it's not a perfect circle, but it is a lot closer than, than that. If you really want to help yourself out, turn on force proportions and you'll see here that the red area here, you are losing some of your tablet area, but the mapping, the ratio is better. So now when you draw a circle, you're going to get a perfect circle. Obviously, having done this, you now need a way to get from one monitor to the other. So you more than likely have to go into functions and you can use your function keys to change one of them to display toggle. That way, this will hop from, take your mouse from one screen back to another at the single click of a button. So if you do need to go to another screen to move reference around or read an email, you can do that and then press this back again and you're back on this screen. So hope these tips help. And as usual, if you have any suggestions, comments or whatever, please do leave them in the comments. All right. Cheers. Bye.